everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Today we are going to pack up, go to Texas, and have a wonderful time. So I thought I would bring you along with me. Things are looking a little bit messy in here. We are leaving tomorrow morning to go to Texas for the weekend. We're actually gonna be there for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so five full days. So you know I gotta pack myself some knitting. Definitely gonna miss this guy. We'll drop him off in the morning, but I figured I would start where I always do, which is packing my knitting, but I'm actually going to be taking you along with me this time, so we're going to do even more. I'm going to show you, you know, just like life stuff, kind of like Vlogmas, which is coming up in December, where I show you more than just knitting. I show you what's actually going on in our lives as much as I can. I don't usually make other people be in it. <laughs> but I'll kind of get like what, what we're doing and stuff like that. So the main purpose is that we're going to Texas for a wedding. Kent is actually in the wedding, so I'm going to be doing my own thing a little bit. Um, the North Texas yarn crawl is actually going on while I'm there. I don't really know if I'm going to get to do anything, but I imagine that there's going to be a lot of knitting time on the plane and as I'm in the hotel room and staying with friends and etc. Anyway, we don't have a lot of time, so let me show you what I'm thinking about bringing. You're going to be proud of me. I can kind of get the city behind me this way because the sun's almost down. Yay! Okay, so the last time I filmed like a packing vlog, I packed entirely too much for our trip to Jamaica. And then I went to Tennessee and I didn't film a vlog for that one, but I did share on Instagram and I packed the perfect amount of knitting. I had one project left on the way back. So this is going to be kind of a combination of things that I have learned from the last two trips. I want to bring enough knitting, but not too much that I'm overwhelmed. So I am leaving behind this sweater, my long summer cardigan. I'm not bringing it with me. And I am leaving behind this sweater, my Lume sweater, and I am not bringing it with me. I told you you were gonna be proud of me, so let me show you what I'm actually bringing along. I made a pile here on the floor because I'm about to wind some yarn. So I'm not bringing very many projects, but I do wanna make sure that I have plenty of yarn because five days, I mean, it can go by really fast, or if I'm not doing a lot, I will have lots of knitting time, so I wanna be prepared. So the very first thing that I'm bringing, of course, is some socks. I just started these socks today. I actually don't know where the actual sock is, but this is a beautiful yarn from Ruby and Roses, and I've got it already all prepared. I did that yesterday. I'm so ahead of the game. So down here, I've got the needles for the second um, sock, plus the progress keeper I'm going to use, and on the progress keeper, I have enough uh, light bulb stitch markers for the second sock. So that's all hanging out in here. This is for the second sock. The first sock is already started. I just started it today. So I'm going to add it into this bag. And then that project's all done. This project is going to be with me in my purse. On the plane, I'm going to bring my purse, my little purse backpack. And then I'm going to bring kind of this like rolling briefcase thing that I have. And that's where my larger project is hopefully going to fit. <laughs> I don't really know yet. Okay, here's the second project that I'm gonna bring with me. I'm gonna bring a second pair of socks that I'm hoping to start um, tomorrow for one of our friends. He picked this yarn out. He is such a nice person and he has taken Kent and I around to so many places in New York City and beyond because he has a car. And so he picked out this yarn. This is from um, Stitch Together Studio. We got this together when we, uh, the three of us went to Beacon, New York, which is upstate. This is called Spooky Harvest, and it couldn't be a better, you know, name for this time of the year. Look at that color. It's super nice. So I am so excited to try out my new, like, sock formula that I'm doing on his foot. So hopefully he comes by tonight and I can measure his foot so I can start these. If not, I might be subbing in another project last minute because there's no point in bringing these if I don't measure his foot. So the main project that I'm bringing, so two socks and one other project, that's it, three projects. Can you believe that? Okay, so I'm gonna bring this project in this soft bag and I'm gonna put all the extra yarn in 
my main suitcase. Uh, hold on, let me open this. So I realize this is kind of risky because what if I get there and my bag doesn't make it? Like sometimes these are the risks you have to take and then you go to the yarn store <laughs> because I can't replace this yarn, so I don't know. That actually makes me kind of nervous thinking about that. I mean, it should be fine. It should be fine. Anyway, you'll know, you'll know once you watch this. So I am making a cardigan for Rhinebeck and I am sort of designing it, sort of designing it. I am using the Bellish app as a pattern template and then I have gone in and subbed in some of my own stuff. So I'm using these really great yarns. This I've had in stash for so long. It's a uh, Miss Babs Cunlin, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and it is so yummy and soft, but I just wasn't happy with like, see how it's spun? It just wasn't looking nice on its own in the stitch patterns that I was trying. I tried it with my firework sweater. So I thought it would look really cool if I paired it with a mohair. And then I found this at my local shop, Nitty City. This yarn is called Nitty City Lights. So it's like this black charcoal-y with these silver strands and this pink and blue as like the lights. I mean, hello. We're looking out into New York City right now. I mean, I can kind of see that, can't you? The city lights? Like, I don't know. Well, hold on now. Focus. Yeah, I mean, I see the similarities, don't you? <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly do. And, and it just has turned out so cool together. So I'm doing this fabulous texture pattern, and here's a little secret. All it is is broken rib. That's it. On the right side, you knit. On the wrong side, you knit and purl, which gives you, oh, it's also sometimes called garter rib. Garter rib or broken rib. So there's garter here where in a regular ribbing, there's just purl. So here's regular ribbing at the bottom. And this is a garter or broken rib. And it just creates this really cool texture. So I've just barely started it, but I need to do a lot before Rhinebeck. So that's why I'm bringing this with me to just really get focused on this project in particular, and I wanna bring this on the plane. So I'm thinking that I will bring this like this on the plane in this bag, and then in my suitcase, I'm going to bring, <laughs> okay, so I kept getting nervous. So I was like, oh, I'll just bring these two because they're already wound up and I'll wind like one more mohair. The mohair has more yarn on it than these do. I think these are 280, and this is like four, oh, hold on. Kent just got back home, so Toaster is barking at him. But anyway, so I basically am nervous that I'm not going to have enough yarn since I'm only working on one project. <laughs> and so I was, these were two already wound up because I had like wound them for another sweater. And I'm like, why don't I just wind one more? And then why don't I just wind one more? So we're about to have a winding party because I'm going to wind this and split it up for socks. I'm going to wind this and put it in this yarn cozy. See, I've already got these already. This one's already a mess. You know what? I should really put that one on there. And then when that one empties out, put the new one on there. That's probably what I should do. I can see if I have any more yarn cozies. And then these, I'm not putting cozies on because I'm actually pulling from the outside. I just find that mohair really collapses. If you don't, I prefer it in a ball, but that takes a long time, so I am just gonna wind it like that. Oh, and last time I went on a trip, I totally forgot my Notions pouch, so we are bringing that too, just to make sure I have scissors, tapestry needles, and the like. So two pairs of socks, one sweater, that's all that's coming with us. We are gonna get so much done on this trip. I don't think we got enough time sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah. baby going down I 
wanna patch up all the scars, but we smashed up all the parts. Oh na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Oh, man. Just before I started recording, Toaster was like, side eye into the camera now it looks like he's going to sleep what a sweet boy okay i've got all of the yarns that i had sitting out wound up i split the sock yarn i only had one 50 gram cozy left so they are only ones in a cozy i'll start with that one i guess um and then i'm not 100 percent sure again if this friend is coming by tonight so i can measure his feet if he doesn't come by then I'm not gonna be able to start those socks. And so I grabbed another yarn from my stash um, that Kent picked out earlier this year because it is SMU colors, which is his college. So I figured if the friend doesn't come by, I'll pull my winder back out, wind this yarn really quickly, and I am going to start a hat for him. I don't know if it's gonna be a Musselburg hat or a ribbed hat. It is a self-striping yarn. Um, I think he'd prefer a ribbed hat, but I'm not sure if that would look good and I think the stripes are going to be too skinny to knit every uh, uh, color transition round um so I'm not 100% sure on that yet he might not actually mind if the pearl bombs show the color change so I might do that anyway I don't know yet anyway that's wound I'm gonna grab a few more things and then my yarn will be ready to go so for the airplane, of course, I'm going to have the project and then this yarn is dwindling down. So I think I might put one more. I don't know if it's going to fit in my bag is the only thing. It's kind of a small bag. If it can fit, not this bag, but the other bag it's going into, I might try to bring all of that. I know it's a little unrealistic because I'm also going to have the socks. Hmm. You know what? That is unrealistic. Just kidding. This is all going to go <laughs> into the suitcase. So that's all the extra sweater yarn. Um, this is going to go into the suitcase. And then this, I don't know if I'm bringing with me yet. So I'm going to grab a bag um, over here, just a project bag. Whoop. Hopefully that didn't hurt your, hurt your uh, I don't know, make you feel dizzy. Sorry. I'm going to grab a project bag. I kind of like this is a new bag for me that um, I got from a membership swap. And so I think that'll actually be, will that be big enough? That might be just big enough to fit all of that really safely, but nice and compactly. This is a waterproof bag, so I think that'll be perfect. And then, I'm gonna go slower this time. I need to grab some sock needles. Oh, and I need to get a sock project bag. Let's see, what do we wanna bring for the sock project? That's a little too small. Um, what do I have left? I have this coffee one. That might be good. I can't even. That one's really cute. I think this is one of the ones. No, it doesn't have a divider. Just kidding. But that's a great project bag, so I can do that. And then with all new projects, of course, you need some new progress keepers. So let me look through here and see what I'm feeling. Perfect. This is all sorted. So I went for pizza because my friend is from New York and I can't remember what this treat is called. I forget. I'm, I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me. And I've got all the stitch markers that I think I'm going to need. Oh, I need needles, <laughs> but then this project is ready. Maybe in a little helper. All right. <laughs> I've got my needles now. I've got some extra cords just in case I get to the point of my sweater where I'm splitting things and some stoppers. So I think I'm all ready and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, sir. What is that face? Good morning, it is travel day. It is about 7.42 in the morning. <laughs> we are getting ready to go here at around eight o'clock. We're gonna go drop toaster off and then head to the airport and head to Texas. It is a gloomy day outside. Actually, it's looking a little better. When I took toaster out just a little while ago, it was raining, although people are people have umbrellas right now. 
so possibly it is raining if you get a little uh, afraid of heights don't look at this part see look at the little people with umbrellas Aww. anyway so it's kind of gloomy today but I have the wind, the shades open just so I can look out and see everything one last time before we go. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, I think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. me because it's a little bit loud but it's actually surprisingly nice right now in Dallas it's almost a little chilly this morning um, but I am headed to like a little restaurant cafe to do some work because I was really hungry and need coffee in the morning and I will be hungry if I don't so I figured it's Friday I should start off the day like actually getting some stuff done so that's where I am headed right now with my little rolling bag and all my stuff and my knitting. And we're gonna edit a video and get some food. now Saturday so I don't even know if I've explained this already but we are here 
in Texas for a wedding. And last night we went to the rehearsal dinner. It was beautiful. The food was amazing. It was literally like a wedding reception itself. So I'm pretty excited to see how the wedding is going to be today. Um, but Kent is actually in the wedding. So he stayed like at a house with all the groomsmen and the groom last night. <clears throat> and I stayed at my friend's house, which I might show you later because it's such an amazing house. Um, but I have the whole day pretty much to do whatever I want. And the Texas, North Texas yarn crawl is this weekend. I really don't feel much like yarn shopping or hopping around to different shops, but I wanted to go to one shop while I was here. McKinney Knittery because it's my favorite and they've been making some changes. And so I am here in McKinney. It's about 8.30 in the morning. My hair, what is my hair doing? And we are meeting for breakfast and then we're gonna go to McKinney and then I'm probably gonna go home, well, back to my friend's house and work until the wedding <laughs> because I have a lot to catch up on. Um, but yeah, downtown McKinney is beautiful. McKinney Knittery is beautiful. You should definitely come here. If you ever come to Dallas, it's worth the drive. So let's go meet Rebecca. Checking in today, uh, <laughs> I just made it to the wedding. Today has been such a like, blah, day. I mean, it was really good in the morning when I met my friend Rebecca, but I don't know. I've just felt really lazy today. I did a little bit of video editing, but not too much interacting on like social media and stuff. I'm sure a lot of you understand that. Some days you just need to be blah, but it took an hour and 15 minutes to drive to this wedding venue, but it is on a gorgeous farm. I saw so many bales of hay on my way out here and lots of cows. And I just saw a baby cow, but I couldn't quite get it on camera. Um, also, there's somebody in the car next to me and I'm sure they're like, what are you actually doing? <laughs> Talking to a real camera. Anyway, I am excited for this wedding because the rehearsal was so beautiful i'm not really going to be filming at the wedding i think i'm just gonna leave my camera here in the car but i am early i am 25 minutes early and i'm chronically late for stuff so i wanted to be here really early especially because it was so far away so i'm about to go inside i need to fix my uh curls a little bit um well they're whatever. They didn't do as well today as they did last night. Um, but I need to fix my curls and then I'm going to go in. I'm going to sit. And I'm going to knit and see if anyone comes up and talks to me. And then I'll be excited for the reception so I can be reunited with Kent. But I will probably not film anything else until tomorrow, which is Sunday. So we'll see. <laughs> Biscuit meal with a large coffee with cream. Yeah. Okay. Can I do a, a honey butter chicken biscuit meal? Yeah. With, uh, can I do a large coffee with cream? It is our last.
last day here in Texas and I just want to give you a quick update because this is going to be the last day of the vlog <laughs> and I'm about to run in somewhere real quick. So today has really just been about getting some things done that we needed to do. You saw we got Whataburger this morning. So good. And we went by our storage unit that's still here in Texas and kind of organized some things and grabbed some things we needed. And Kent and I both have dentist appointments. I just went to mine. Kent's at his and I am at my old school because it was only 10 minutes from the dentist appointment. So I'm going to run in really quickly and just say hi to some of my coworkers and then run back and get Kent. Um, but really today is all about getting the Texas foods that we miss. So we have some more food on our agenda and then hanging out with some friends tonight and we leave super early in the morning. That's why I'm going to end the vlog here today. So this might be the last time that I talk. If it is, thanks for watching. But I do have more footage that I'm going to get as we get some more food. Because what, you know, that's what really things are about is just food. So I'm going to go see my coworkers. Bye-bye. So that was like a super goofy experience. It was so weird going back there to my school and not actually wasn't even allowed to go inside. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's really true. I think I could have gone inside if I really wanted to. But um, just with like COVID and everything and all the rules, I ended up standing in like the front entryway and saying hi to a couple of my friends and a couple of people that passed by. And I got to see my director real quick. And I have a lot of time but it was good to see everyone um people keep asking me if i miss texas and there's definitely parts of it that i miss food being one of them i really miss my coworkers at the school i wouldn't say that i'm like heartbroken that i'm not teaching anymore it's such a hard job <laughs> it is such a hard job there's elements of it but i really like being able to work for myself and i think i need to, needed to remind myself that because there are days when it gets really hard um, and I'm sure that's true with any job, but anyway, I'm sweating because it is so hot and I don't have the car on. So I'm going to go get Kent and we're going to proceed on with our day. But that, this little stop definitely made me smile. Hey, can I get, uh, two chili cheese dogs? And then, yeah, can I do one chili cheese burger? And then a six pack of jalapeno poppers? up to go home and I know this light is going to be extremely weird. I don't know why it's like flowing like that, but this is how we're going to end things. <laughs> so I am getting my knitting ready for tomorrow. I did a ton on this project and I ended up bringing only two projects, my socks and the sweater, and I'm nowhere close to the end on either one of them. So that was plenty of knitting for these few days, but I ended up doing 12 inches on the sweater. I think when I left, I was at like not even three inches. So I feel really good about that because that's the whole body. I already went through one whole skein of the DK weight yarn and I am almost at the end of my mohair yarn. Of course, I still have tons <laughs> that we wound. I am going to add one more of the mohair. So one that we didn't need and one more of the DK to my um, plain project, so I definitely am not going to run out, which means I just left ended up with two um, extras, so that's not too bad. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a super duper early morning. I am not doing any vlogging tomorrow. It's just all about getting home <laughs> and getting rest and getting this thing edited for the next week so y'all can see it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this very random travel vlog. And I always enjoy doing vlogs. I'm already looking forward to Vlogmas, but I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will just see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!